Hi there, this is Kim and in this vlog I'm going to be discussing an interesting point that's actually very common for most of us, which is the point of not knowing what to say in social context and in social situations when you're around people there's this thought that sometimes comes up especially when there's like this silence and this thought is like what do i say now oh no i have to say something um what if i don't say anything and then there's this awkward silence and what is this other person gonna think um you know what are they gonna think of me if i don't say anything they might start thinking that i'm weird or strange come on come on i have to say something you know these are the kind of thoughts that can actually come up in that moment and it's something that i've noticed with myself as something that i've dealt with a lot in my life and with me it was to the point that it would become a total mind possession possession meaning that it would create these emotional experiences inside of myself um, of fear, insecurity, anxiety, nervousness, where, you know, to the point that I would feel sometimes just paralyzed. And I would feel, I would end up feeling as if I can't move, you know, I, I because my mind was so filled up with all of these thoughts of worry, anxiety, and insecurity in relation to not knowing what to say, um, being seen as weird or strange by other people, um, you know, being, making things awkward, um, pushing people away just by not saying anything. It's like, I would end up uh, feeling stifled by my own mind and my own thoughts and I would end up actually often not saying anything at all like just keeping quiet or just saying something but then still feeling awkward about it, about it and still feeling nervous about it and still you know getting the feeling that it wasn't good enough or it was still kind of weird or what is this other person going to think about me so you know, this is a point that I've managed to overcome and transcend to a great degree where now I find myself, I find myself often, I mean, most of the time I find myself now feeling quite comfortable around people and comfortable with speaking and, you know, sometimes this point of anxiety will still come up, but I'm more able to give it direction, meaning to make the decision in that moment that I'm not going to allow this point of anxiety to influence me. You know, contrary to how it used to be, which is where this anxiety would completely overtake me and direct me and would entirely decide who I was going to be in that moment and how I was going to behave in that moment in that social situation. So. You know, in this vlog, I'm going to be sharing the primary points that assisted me to overcome this specific experience inside of myself. And, you know, primarily what has assisted me a lot was the understanding and the insight that, you know, the things we say or the things that people say in general. It's like, when you're thinking about it, and when you're in that thinking pattern in your mind, where you're kind of fussing about, what am I gonna say? What should I be saying in this situation? You know, what is this person gonna think of me? What you're actually doing is you're like making a big deal out of the whole thing. You're making a big deal out of your own words, your own expression, by adding all of this value onto it, value in the form of what other people are going to think and how other people are going to react and is it going to be good enough, you know, are you are you going to say the right thing, are you going to say the wrong thing, etc. So here you're kind of making this whole important ordeal out of your expression and your words to the point where you eventually feel so insecure about it 
that you end up not saying anything at all because you might fail, you might say the wrong thing, etc. So what I realized is that actually, you know, the things that people say, the things we say and most of our conversations are not that important and are not that big of a deal. I mean, if you have a look at what people are generally talking about, it's not, you know, most of what we say to each other is basically just to make conversation. And I've noticed as well that oftentimes people have this tendency to make what they say sound more important than it really is by using certain tonalities, by using certain ways of speaking, ways of using their voice um, to, you know, to really kind of give value to what they're saying, even though when you really look at what they're saying, it isn't that valuable at all. It's like when you look at politicians, for example, a lot of the things that politicians are saying when they're making a debate or a statement, when they're giving a speech, a lot of these things are not relevant and not important and it doesn't actually really matter. It's like, it's like air, you know? But they make it sound important through the way that they're saying it, through using certain tonalities and, you know, taking in a certain stance and speaking a certain way, using certain words in a certain way. So, you know, I've realized that I have oftentimes allowed myself to be um, kind of duped into believing that what people are saying is really valuable and is really important because it sounds that way. And I never realized that, you know, just because it may uh, be perceived as important through the way it sounds, it's not actually that important. So then I applied that realization and understanding to myself, meaning that, you know, I realized that the moment I start thinking about what I'm going to say, I'm making it more important or I'm making it seem more important than it really is. So I basically made the decision to, whenever there's a moment in a conversation, a silent moment, where, where I would usually go into thoughts like, oh my god, what am I going to say? And the thoughts accumulate into a, an, an creating uncertainty, anxiety, nervousness, etc. I would just make the decision to open my mouth and just say something. I would just say random things. I mean, not obviously not completely random things, but just say something, anything. Say something about my day, something I've done, uh, a comment, a remark about my environment, about the other person, or simply asking the other person a question. Whatever it is, you know, it was that simple decision to simply open my mouth and say something within that realization that um, whatever I say it's not as important as my mind would often make it out to be you know whatever my expression is it's just here it's just words I speak you know it's not more and it's not less it's it's really uh, it's really just an expression in the moment. So this is one realization that assisted me and one technique that assisted me to overcome this uh, pattern of kind of self-sabotage in social situations where I would just go into this wild anxiety and nervousness in relation to my expression and what am I going to say, etc. is to firstly, you know, realize that it's n the, my expression is not quite as important as my mind makes it out to seem. And secondly, you know, just making that decision of opening your mouth and saying something, just allowing yourself to express yourself rather than going into your mind. You know, that has assisted me quite a lot um, in overcoming this point and, and in changing this self-sabotaging mind pattern into something constructive and into a real expression of myself, you know, um, yeah, into, into a real constructive pattern where I would allow myself to simply express myself.
rather than suppress myself. You know, because suppression is what happens when you go into your mind. You know, the moment that you go into your mind and you allow those thoughts to overtake you about, you know, what other people are going to think and if you're going to say the wrong thing, etc. What you're doing is you're holding yourself back from expressing your potential, from being here, from really living and, and participating in conversations and, you know, simply expressing yourself. So what you're doing is suppressing yourself. So, you know, this is, you know, one point that I found pretty important in terms of um, how you can, in a practical way, go from suppression to expression in your life. Um, because this one simple point is actually something that I know a lot of people recognize and go through within themselves, and it's entirely unnecessary. So there are obviously... I mean, this is one point of realization, yet there are obviously many other points of realizing and understanding things and, you know, other um, steps to take in order to truly um, change this mind pattern. But, you know, this one realization and one application that I shared in this vlog is... Uh, you know, is one quite important realization that assisted me a lot in this process. So I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.